Hi teachers, it's Kat from catteacher.com. I just wanted to show you guys how to download Minicam for the very first time. So uh, if you've never downloaded it before or if you're still a little unsure what to do with the settings when you first download it, this video will be really helpful for you. So I hope you enjoy it and here we go. Okay guys, so basically uh, in the link in the email that you guys got for day one, you will find a link to my website and this is a very special post and video for you guys uh, who subscribe to the email list, so thank you very much. Basically, uh, we've got how to do download Minicam and adjust the settings. Now we do use affiliate links with Minicam. Basically, what we're gonna do is just connect a number to your download. Of course, everything that we do this week in the free videos is all going to be in the free version okay so you are never obligated to pay for minicam um, most of the stuff that i use on a day-to-day -day basis in my online classroom is using the free version uh, you will have the watermark on it so do take note of that if you'd like to use it in the future without the watermark you will have to download it and pay for the upgrade okay but uh, don't worry you guys all you have to do to say thank you for all these free videos uh, the only thing you have to do is click on our link that will automatically connect our affiliate number to your download and uh, we appreciate that so much so we appreciate when you guys use our affiliate number so you guys can hit download minicam right here if you are using a PC you also have some other options Windows Mac Android iOS um, these are okay for now they um, are still kind of working on getting all the features for those so I would highly suggest using it on your desktop uh, computer or on your laptop so um, this will automatically go to the Windows download so I'll just click on this one and hit download now okay so while that is busy installing uh, if you guys do want to upgrade, that's totally up to you. Mostly I upgraded out of convenience. I wanted to get rid of the watermark so that I could make videos uh, with my kids. And I also wanted to uh, have a couple more presets and a couple more features. Uh, this is a pretty good deal, the $27 for the standard. You do get four video sources, which I'll show you how to use those later. And $49 is not too bad either for the studio. So if you see these prices pop up, these are pretty decent prices, but again, you're not obligated in any way to pay for Minicam or to even um, need to upgrade Minicam for the stuff that we like to use in our classroom. Okay, so it looks like Minicam is just about finished installing. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this under the download section and I'm going to allow it to make changes to my device. That's cool. It's gonna start extracting and it's going to start uploading to your computer. All right, okay, so select your language. That's pretty easy, standard, accept, accept. Um, I usually like to have an icon, start menu, all this good stuff. Um, make Minicam start with Windows. That is helpful, especially if you are teaching online because it is better if Minicam starts before you open your teaching program. So I actually do like that to happen. Um, and if I had a previous Minicam version, if you need to uninstall and reinstall, that's what it'll do. Okay, never mind, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and install it, hit next. Okay, so Minicam was successfully installed. Awesome, easy, let's hit finish. Okay, so more than likely, whenever you are finished downloading, see my beautiful cat, um, you can find it here on your desktop, right? Okay, so we wanted the desktop shortcut. Uh, now if I hit Minicam and I open it up for the very first time, um, you will find that there is just a scary black screen. Well, all you really have to do uh, at this point in time is you have to hit the button right in the middle and it's getting all excited because it wants me to upgrade Minicam, but I don't want to. So you just click the button right in the middle and you're gonna click your webcam. Now I have um, an external webcam, which I really like because the, the quality is really good, but if you have an internal one, then you just click whatever's available and you will sort of pop up on the screen here. So then you can kind of adjust yourself and you can see where you fit perfectly on the screen and that looks really good. Okay, so one thing that you might find when you first open up this video is that I find oftentimes you will be on a very high resolution, okay? And your screen will be quite wide and it's completely unnecessary when you're teaching online because most of the time your screen is actually gonna be quite small at like a four to three ratio and this is much bigger at like 16 to 9. This is better for YouTube videos, but for teaching online, we want to be more of a square. 
so easily. So you can go to 240p. So if you're finding that your computer is running slowly in any way, go ahead and drop down the resolution because you can see all of my good stuff here uh, basically has... Um, all my numbers have gone down here, which means my computer is working more efficiently. For the sake of our video, I'll just go ahead and use 480p just so that you can see me clearly and you can see what it's capable of doing. So now you're in more of a square box. Uh, you want to be nice and center, uh, which is great for your kids because then you're a nice presence online, which is great. So um, pretty much that's basically it. If you find that the frames per second... Um, is more than 30, completely unnecessary because it just w makes your work computer work really hard and your kid won't notice a difference. I don't know if you can notice the difference. Um, but if you do lower these quite a bit, then you can see that I am distorted and that looks crazy and terrible. So we'll go back up to 30, working nice and clean and it looks really good. Okay, so guys, that's the initial settings that you'll need to just basically download ManyCam, uh, get it up and running. Of course, we're still using the free version. You can see the watermark down here and I will continue to use the free version all this week. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Thanks guys.